Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to the Sales Up Shop. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with John Percival. He's the author of a new book, HTML5. Welcome, John. Uh, the book was HTML5 Advertising. My main focus was to take the technology of HTML5 and, and the market and how um, we're, we're limiting our flash needs, so to speak, and head it more to a, an HTML5 and web standards focus. So can you tell us a little bit about the trends that you see in the market? The major trends that I'm seeing are mobile, responsive design, and everybody's clamoring over the second screen experiences. So connecting your television to your iPad or your desktop computer, and then really telling a story about all of these at the end of a campaign. What is super hot today in video? It's all about interactive. Um, so it's it's high definition and it's interactivity within video. So a really good example would be if you were to go to YouTube or Hulu, or any type of video property, you would more or less get an in-stream advertisement. So, can you show us an example? I sure can. Can you explain what we are seeing here? So this example brings in a scrolling and interactivity of the user using touch uh, and different orientations. So basically the creative adapts to the, the, the landscape of the device. Um, so now they can you know, drag a cursor, to the different areas within the ad experience, and, and more, moreover, we can actually measure all of this. So we can measure the brand interaction time, how many times they clicked curious, overconfident, eager, um, and then even optimize on it. Uh, do you think that HTML5 is the dagger that will kill Flash? I'm, uh, yeah, so uh, Flash is definitely a great tool, don't get me wrong, that's where my roots are. Um, Really, HTML5 got its uh, surge over the vast mobile devices. Um, we could thank Steve Jobs in, in his 2007 speech at dropping the iPhone uh, when he bluntly told everyone that Flash would never run on his devices. Uh, the market had to adapt and change. So now we're faced with more of a web standards approach utilizing HTML5, CSS, and JavaScript. And the truth is, uh, it's fantastic. It drives innovation. What can you do with HTML5 that wasn't possible like two two years ago? Um, so the big thing is adoption uh, among the browsers lately, especially Chrome and even Microsoft jumping on and adopting a lot of web standards going forward. Um, HTML5 has turned into this umbrella term that encompasses all of uh, JavaScript and the DOM APIs and. Uh, different specifications like web sockets and geolocation, but really, however you want to uh, position HTML5, it's it's essentially the new web. Uh, we don't need Flash or a Flash player now uh, any longer because the browser is actually taking care of that hard work for us natively. Right. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of things uh, like interactive video, um, uh, full screen video, HD, uh, adaptive bitrate streaming new animation techniques using JavaScript and CSS3. So really, every rich feature that you saw in Flash will eventually come, if not more, to the HTML5 and, and open web standards environments. So John, there seems to be a conversion between um, video and gaming. What is that about? Well, these are two really, really good experiences to offer a user, especially in the uh, advertising space. Uh, brands always want to get their message out and they want their, uh, their user base to engage and, and spend a lot of time developing a relationship with the brand. Um, that aside, I, I mean personally, a video is just a great experience where I could just sit back and really learn without doing much. <laughs> um, and then the gaming to couple that is, is me actually taking part and in investing some time, uh, valuable time, um, into what the brand wants me to engage with. So um, pair this with uh, the measurement factor of it, uh, brands get really deep insight into all of the, uh, the clicks and the tilts and the swipes that, that can be done, and as well as all the measurement with video. I think you did a gaming video with uh, National Car, right? Correct. Uh, National Car Rental came to uh, Point Roll, uh, the company I work for, um, and we developed this interactive um, uh, kind of like, like a gaming slash video experience uh, within the i, I device. So basically, if you were to visit a uh, Wall Street Journal and start swiping throughout their homepage, you would be brought to this interstitial ad unit 
that would showcase you, or ask you rather, to pick a car and make the meeting, so to speak. So that was their big push, you know, rent a car and make the meeting, but really give them, give the user the ability to kind of feel uh, the lay of the land and try to make the meeting within an, an allotted time. So in this ad, we measure your time, and we actually keep um, a worldwide poll of uh, all the users that actually uh, played. So you can technically try to beat your peers. So it has that arcade and game effect to, um, to the video experience. So can you do a Hollywood ending for this interview where you squeeze the screen and make us disappear? Sure. <laughs> Anything's possible. Thank you so much for your time, John. Thank you Great. so much.